Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to 3D Now. My name is Jack and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tevo Tornado from GearBest.com. So hopping right into the video, I want to give a huge thanks to GearBest.com for sending me this printer for a review. And if you didn't know already, GearBest has a ton of awesome 3D printers, filament, and accessories for a super low price. So I'll put a link down below where you can buy this printer and other 3D printing accessories. So this printer shipped to me in about three days and was packed fantastic and nothing was broken in the box. So this printer cost around $360 from GearBest right now at this moment, which is a pretty good price for what you're getting. And you might be thinking, hey, this looks like a CR10 and you are right, it's pretty much a clone of the CR10, but it does have a few things that are different which make it better and a little bit worse, but I'll get into that a little bit later. So just like the CR10, it has a 300 by 300 by 400 millimeter build volume, which is absolutely gigantic, and it will fit all your printing needs from small to large. Screw the bed into the upper frame, attach some wires, plug it into your wall, and you're pretty much good to go. So a definite plus about this printer that I found was that it has a fast heating bed with its own MOSFET and power supply. So the bed power supply is totally separate from the power supply for the rest of the printer. So when you heat up the bed, it heats up super, super fast, way faster than the bed on the CR10. Also comes with an LCD screen, which you control the printer from, and it has a rigid structure. Everything's bolted together in 8020 aluminum, which keeps this printer rock solid while printing. Also, another difference from the CR10 is that it has a kind of build tack like sticky surface on the heated bed, and I'll talk about this a little bit later. Also, it was super easy to wire because all the wires and plugs had little tags on them that told you exactly where to plug it in. What I found pretty cool taking this printer out of the box was that it actually had a test print on the bed. And this is a big Tevo logo on the bed. And I thought this was pretty cool because it showed that they tested this printer at the factory before shipping it out to me and that this printer actually works. But a little bit later I found out that this was not very good because I could not get this print off the bed. Even though it was only a few layers thick, this thing took me forever to get off. It took me about half an hour with a paint scraper just scraping away and actually scratched up the build tack like surface on the Tevo. And finally, because this printer is mostly assembled, I assembled this pretty fast, definitely under an hour, and got it printing very quickly. So getting into the pros of this printer, of course it's a fantastic price for what you're getting, and it has this huge heated bed. So like I keep saying, it's sort of like a build tack, like a sticky surface, and it has its own MOSFET and power supply, so it heats up super, super fast. And when it prints on the bed, Everything sticks for a stride, no problem. Also like the 0.4 millimeter nozzle, which allows you to print all different types of materials from PLA to ABS to wood to some flexibles to PETG. Also a definite plus, and I think which is better than the CR10, is the Tevo Titan Extruder. So this clamps down on the filament super well. By the way, it's 1.75 millimeter and it has this little dial or knob on the side which you can turn to feed in the filament slowly which helps prime the printer a lot easier and I use this a lot to prime my printer with different materials. This has a very very sturdy design with the 8020 aluminum. Everything's bolted together twice and this thing is not moving. It's absolutely rock solid. And it also prints with an SD card so you can print offline. You just slice your file on your computer stick it on the SD card, plug it into your printer, click print, walk away, and when you come back, hopefully you'll have a nice object. It has a pretty decent print quality. I was surprised when I printed the spool holder, which was already a file on the SD card out of the box, but the top layers of the prints, I don't know how, but they were absolutely perfectly smooth. It looked like I just ironed them out, and it was absolutely the most smooth top layers I have ever seen on a 3D print. So getting into the cons, every 3D printer has some cons. So here's a list, a short list of the few little things that I don't really like about this printer. So again, 
the test print that came with it. It was pretty cool at first, but it took me forever to get this print off. They ended up scraping and scratching the heated bed, but it's also good that the table comes with two bed surfaces, but it kind of stinks. They scratched it even before printing my first object. And again, on this bed, it actually sticks too well, so it was super, super hard to get prints off this bed. Even when it cools down, it actually sticks more than when it's heated up. And something that I also found was that there was sort of a little bit of salmon skin on some of my prints. And this is because of the Tavo stepper drivers, which is sort of like a rippling effect in the outer layer. But it didn't show up too well and the prints still came out pretty well. Finally, there was no spool holder in the box, so you had to print your own. Which I guess is kind of good if you want to print something really fast because it's already on the SD card. But in order to print your first print or to print a spool holder, you needed to put the spool of filament somewhere and this did not have a spool holder. So I literally had to just put it on the table. So I think it could be a little better if they included a spool holder. So wrapping this up, this is a great printer for beginners and for experts who want to get a workhorse printer get stuff done really fast. It just goes all night long with no problems because it's a clone of the CR10. It has a lot of the same properties, which is good, but also which I liked was the Titan extruder, which the CR10 does not have, the independently heated bed, which is awesome, and the build tack like surface, which again, is pretty hard to get stuff off of, but it does stick amazing. And this was a fantastic price. It costs right now about 20 bucks less than a CR10, so you might want to look at this a little bit more closely if you're thinking about buying a CR10. So again, thanks for GearBest.com for sending me this printer for review. If you want to check out this printer or any other 3D printers, filaments, or accessories, we'll link down below in the description where you can check them out. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll see you guys in the next video.